Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great in your life. So this is going to be a very short video and I'm just going to be highlighting the importance of domain in analytics industry. So whoever is preparing for analytics loan or either could be data scientist, data analysis, analytics, business analytics, business intelligence analysis, it could be anything, whatever you are preparing. But the thing is that here, the chances of getting a job offer is rare if you just learn SQL, Excel, Power BI, Python, Tableau. So these are the skills that are being learned by so many people and so many people are preparing for data analysis uh, profile but not many people are getting the interview calls and there are reasons for that because of the uh, I would say low demand in the industry the industry has its demand but the number of people applying for such jobs are very very high so that is creating a frustration among people who are continuously applying from one to two years so i know a lot of people and i have been communicating with them from past one year and i know their situation and i always try to motivate them but i am not someone who is just going to boost you and if you think that you are going to go in a direction where you will find a data analyst job very easily because it has been overhyped by so many influencers on uh, either on LinkedIn or on YouTube so you think that it's going to be pretty easy to get that job uh, it's not that easy what you think of and the pay scale is quite lesser than you think of and yeah I'm not here to discourage you but the thing is if you want to start your career with the analytics industry there are things that you have to keep in mind and your pay scale will be high if you just learn a uh, few domain skills so domain knowledge is extremely important if you are in the analytics industry so whoever is recruiting uh, just look at your domain knowledge the rest skills they treat it as uh, secondary skills but the primary thing that they look for is obviously obviously the domain so what is a domain a domain is something that is uh, like a, a cherry on the top uh, of your cake so if you're uh, if you have learned many skills but you're still not getting noticed so you're not the your cake doesn't have the cherry on the top and how can you gain that skill so basically what you have to do is uh, learn google anal analytics so any industry who is uh, looking for someone uh, analytics lead such as so you must know google anal analytics tool google data studio or uh, adobe analytics so you have to find out those uh, job roles wherein you will uh, find these kind of job titles and in the job description it would be mentioned that you need to have such skill so there are other skills as well so talking about the cloud skills so cloud skills are booming these days and it's going to be uh, predicted that uh, there are so many jobs that will be created for AWS or Azure in next two to two, three years and if you learn these skills right now after two to three years you will be the SME or subject matter expert of those cloud platforms so why not choose those things which are going to be a uh, are fruitful for you rather than learning everything that is learned by every individual these days so you have to distinct yourself you have to be uh, something extra than others so that is the reason you have to choose a domain that is specifically for you and that is that has a lot of demand and low supply so how can you find uh, the, that this domain has a lot of de demand and low supply you just can go to LinkedIn and search for AWS or Azure roles you will realize that there are only 15 to 16 applicant for uh, a job that is for zero to two three years of experience person so there you will realize that okay these have a number of jobs the number of jobs are in the hundred plus but there are very low number of people are applying to such kind of job so there is a high chance that you will get that job and it will create a less frustration in you rather than applying for next one year continuously you will get that job easily and your dream of working in the analytics industry will not die because these jobs involve the analysis phase as well so you will not be left with only uh, working on the cloud platforms you will also be working on the analytics industry so that's going to be a plus point for you so there, there are so many uh, domains that you could choose from i will name some of them there are crm domain in the crm you can learn salesforce or zoho so they both have demands but salesforce is currently like booming so i would uh, share it to you that you should go for uh, salesforce if uh, other uh, cloud platforms you are looking for it could be aws sap azure so you can uh, choose them if you are looking for analytics domain probably you could go for adobe adobe has a demand but very very low supply and i'm sharing it from my experience because i have uh, learned adobe in my uh, previous company and i know i still get calls from adobe analytics uh, industry so i know these kind of uh, tools are going to be uh, very fruitful for you the next tools are uh, google analytics google data studio so these all of these tools if you learn one of them you will realize that you have uh, you're not in the rat race you're you're separated from that and it's go going to turn very beautiful for you so i hope you uh, keep 
those things in mind and i just wanted to remind you that okay even if you are facing uh, low times right now the better times are coming and keep working hard on yourself you will eventually get what you desire so yeah this was it for this video i hope you found this video helpful if you have any query suggestion or doubt you can write in the comment section below i would highly appreciate your time in writing such comments so bye bye for now until we meet next time